Box number 38, which I believe is also books. So we're going through a lot of books lately. Let's get this open. And what do you know? It's books. Uh, let's make this a little easier for myself. There we go. I think that this is going to be quite simple, to be honest. It looks like it's going to just be all music books. I'm just going to quickly go through. Um, humorous, humorous. Yeah, it's, it's music stuff. And I could honestly go through and talk about all of them, but I don't think that that's a terribly interesting thing to do. So I'll just quickly get that out of the way. I'll pull up anything interesting. Like this, actually, is um, the literary magazine from the college I went to first, Oberlin College. And I believe there's a poem in here by me. Or maybe this is when I was on the... Yeah, this was just when I was on the editorial board. There's some really good stuff in here, though. I was pretty impressed. Or at least 18-year-old me was pretty impressed. This is uh, poetry and prose by Bill Brent, who was very active in a lot of uh, sex-positive scenes in San Francisco in the 90s, and probably before then, to be honest. Um, yeah, he died, unfortunately. He was, he was very friendly. He was a good friend. He ran Black Sheets, which was a magazine that also had play parties, and I went to a lot of those in the 90s. Very nice guy. Unfortunate that he's gone. This was uh, put together by my partner at the time, Amy. Uh, again, in the early, this was the early 2000s. Just uh, lurks to a lot of carols for going out caroling. Great stuff. As for the rest of this, I don't actually think there's much to say. I mean, again, some of these have some personal um, meaning to me. Like, you know, this is from when I was a... Um, Notary Public in California, but again, not terribly interesting. Uh, yeah, if I find anything that's really interesting in here, I'll, uh, I'll bring it out and I will uh, feature it in a different box. The only thing here, actually, this is, yeah, this is my lead sheets and such for when I played in a Balkan-style band. Um, in this one, I played I played a lot of different instruments for that. A lot of them were, were wind instruments. This was penny whistle. A lot of them were penny whistle, actually. Uh, I couldn't play that on clarinet, so I gave up. I think I played bass on this. It was good. It was, it was really good. I got to travel around a little bit. It was, you know, semi-pro, I would say. We did get paid. Our, our percussion person was, the, uh, was also our agent, so he was motivated to get us gigs. It was fun. Ooh, awesome. Tom Lehrer, yes. Speaking of which... Uh, Tom Lehrer, who is brilliant, and you have to look him up if you haven't, uh, he has made all of his music available to the public domain. You have to search for it online. Eventually that website will go away, and then it'll all disappear. So please mirror that site. I've been meaning to do that myself. Uh, yeah, I think... Well, this looks like... No, that's not it. <laughs> it's interesting, but... Wow. <laughs> it's all... Uh, Songs for kids uh, about being safe. Wow, I'll have to uh, show that around. That looks pretty. I'll show that to my partner. She'll get a kick out of it. Okay, that's it.